Hi, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to go over a few specs of the new Femi Mini 3. And on paper, this is a seriously good competitive drone to the DJI Mini 2SE and the Potensic Atom. So let's go ahead and have a look at it right now. Okay, so unfortunately, they're all actually sold out at the moment. You select every option and they are sold out. So I didn't get in quick enough, so I haven't actually ordered mine yet. So as soon as these, I'm checking this every day, as soon as these come back in stock, I will order. I'll probably go for the Mini 3 with two batteries and one bag, which is $349, which is a steal if you ask me. So it looks like they're being released at the end of April because it's saying if you order today, which you can't, you'll get it by Thursday night for the 5th. So let's have a look at the specs now. Right, the main one is 4K60. Now, I can't find any drone in this price range to record at 4K60. So this is an absolutely fantastic recording capability of this drone. It's got a Sony half inch sensor, 48 megapixel, which is a decent sized sensor. It's a stacked CMOS. It's got the AI Super Night video. Um, now I don't know how they're doing this, but uh, I'll show you this video now on YouTube, which compares the two. And so it's got the DJI Mini 4 Pro down here and the Fimi Mini 3. And to me, if anything, the Fimi looks better. Now, I don't know what they've done to this video. They might have um, enhanced the Fimi Mini 3 somehow or made the Mini 4 look not as good, but they both look really good for night vision. Number four, three axis mechanical gimbal. Well, that's pretty standard stuff on most drones unless you get the Potensic Atom SE, which doesn't have a gimbal. Now, nine kilometer video transmission, dual band. Now that's important because I believe this is Fimi's first drone with a dual band system. Runs on 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. And the latency is just 120 milliseconds, which is less than both of these. It's still under 250 grams. Type C fast charging in the battery. Yeah, I like this feature. It means you can take the Potensic's got it. So you can literally take the battery out and put that on charge. Whereas the DJI, you'd have to plug it in the drain or put it in the charging block. Strong wind resistance. Well, that's pretty standard along all three of these drains. Pretty standard what you get in the box. You get the aircraft, remote control, up propellers, blah, blah, blah. And here's a bit more detail. Yeah, 4K60, under 250 grams. 48 megapixel, Sony half inch sensor. USB-C. Um, yeah, there's the super night video. So an ISP chip achieving 400% higher signal to noise ratio than the Femi X8 Mini V2 delivering stunning night scenes, even in low light. I have to see what that's like when we get it. Nine kilometer video transmission, dual band. Uh, 8K time-lapse photography. 4K 60 again, under 250 grams. Gimbal. Uh, it's got all the four GPS. GLONASS, Bido, Galileo. USB-C again. Uh, waypoints, search and rescue model with six times digital zoom. Uh, I've downloaded the app, the app looks really good. It goes really in depth. It's a lot more better than the Potensic app. And the remote control is similar to the Potensic. Smart tracking over 30 targets in real time. People, vehicle, boats. One tap video, now that is quick shots I believe. Precision landing, which both of these don't. So you get time lapse, live streaming, panorama, home point indicator, vertical shooting mode. Now this is good because this actually outputs in a nine by 16. Whereas these two, you'd have to crop that in, in post. Drifting mode, that's what you get in the kit. So here's the detailed specs. The field of view is 79 degrees. An f1.6, which is really good. That is um, that's wide open. That's more so than the Mini 4 Pro. Half inch sensor. ISO 100 to 26,500. That's quite impressive. Although you're going to get a lot of noise with that. Night mode. 8K time lapse. 
4K 60. Now on here it says 12 times zoom, so I'm not sure if it's 12 or 6. But even if it's 6, that's pretty good. And there's the dual band frequency, 2.4 to 2.835 gigahertz, and 5.725 to 5.850 gigahertz. The weight is 245 grams. Flight time is 32 minutes with the normal battery and 37 minutes with the intelligent flight battery. Speed is impressive, 18 meters a second, that is faster than both of these. 40 miles an hour, I believe. Now, I've made a um, comparison Excel spreadsheet and you can see how good the FIMI Mini 3 is compared to the Potensic Atom and the Mini 2SC. So I'm gonna go through this now. Now I've highlighted the best in yellow and the worst as this really all pinky. So the sensor size, the Mini 3 is the biggest at 30.72 square meters. And the worst is the Potensic Atom. As you can see, the sensor size is almost double on the Fimi, Fimi Mini 3. The field of view, now this is one of the only things that the DJI is better. It's slightly wider at 83 degrees. Aperture is best on the Mini 3, 1.6, worse on the DJI Mini 2SE. The ISO range is worse on the DJI and best on the Fimi Mini 3. It goes to an outstanding 26,500. But you're going to get a lot of noise with that. But that's the AI night photography, which hopefully will minimise that noise. The pixel count is the highest on the Fimi Mini 3 at 48 compared to 12. Video resolution, again, the Fimi Mini 3, 4K 60. The worst is the DJI Mini 2 SE at 2.7K 30. The zoom is best on the Fimi Mini 3 again. Uh, 6 or 12, yeah, I'm not sure because they say two different things. Now the range, Fimi Mini 3, 9 km dual band is the best and the worst is the Potensic because the Potensic is only single band. Latency again, the Fimi Mini 3 wins at 120 milliseconds. The other two has 200, so that's half the latent latency. The bit rate, again, the Fimi Mini 3 is at 100 and the other two are 50 and 40, only 40 on the Mini 2 SE. Although I believe 40 is quite good because for 2.7K, 40 is quite a lot. Maximum speed, the Fimi Mini 3 wins again at 40 miles an hour, and the other two does 36 miles an hour. Time lapse, Fimi Mini 3 is the only drone out of these three that will do a time lapse. Waypoints, both the Fimi and the Potensic has got them, but the DJI has not. Panorama, both the Fimi and the DJI has. Vertical shooting, the Potensic Atom has no vertical shooting. It's not that you can, you can do it in post, but the DJI Mini 2 SE, it has, it gives you the manual grid lines, but you still need to crop that in in post. Whereas the Fimi Mini 3 has a full automatic vertical shoot and it will actually crop that image for you, so you can just upload it straight to Facebook or wherever. Precision landing, the only drone that has this is the Fimi Mini 3 again. Tracking, both the Fimi and the Potensic has this. I think it will be better on the Fimi, but I'm not sure. The battery, um, both the Fimi and the DJI has the same rated capacity of 2,250 milliamp hour batteries. And the Fimi Mini 3, why I've highlighted that in yellow, is they're the only drone out of these three to do an extended battery. And you get a 3,100 milliamp hour lithium ion battery that will allow you to do 37 minutes recording. Now the price, interestingly, the DJI Mini 2 SE has just been reduced. So that is actually the cheapest option if you just get the standard drone with the one battery. That's actually 279 compared to the other two, which are 299. Although, if you're in the UK, the cheapest is actually the Mini, the Fimi Mini 3 at 242, if I've um, done that right, because you can only buy that one in dollars. However, with the Flymore price, the cheapest is Fimi Mini 3 by far. It is currently 282 pounds or 349 dollars.
whereas the DJI Mini 2 SE is the most expensive at £379 or $429. I will note on the Flymore combo price, you only get two batteries, but at the moment you currently get a free extended battery, so that's why I've highlighted that in yellow. So yeah, just on paper, the Fimi Mini 3 for the price point is absolutely outstanding. If we count what it's best at, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 good points. So yeah, I'll be definitely buying the Fimi Mini 3.